This video is brought to you by Card Empire. If you're looking for Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or Magic of the Gathering, this is the place to be. Oh, what's up, people? Doctor Woods right here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening. And let's go and let's just have a pause for a minute, people, and let's look back really quick. 2020. It was horrible. It was terrible. We lost friends. We've lost loved ones. And also, we had a succession with my channel and became quite popular. But also, Yu-Gi-Oh! made this. The 2020 Tin of Lost Memories. Now, I haven't opened up a lot of these. I've only opened, if I remember, only one, maybe two if I'm 100% sure. But, we're still after the one card in this set that I still want. The Dark Magician Dragoon. It's all I want from this set. There is a lot of other great cards in here, which I do love to get, but definitely that card will be amazing to pull right now. I think it's the most expensive card in the set, if I recall. Hopefully, I am correct. But, I'm just hoping we can pull something good. And as you guys know, this has had some war damage along its way. And these are first edition, people, so get yourself prepared. They are not unlimited, so... You can tell this was the very first run print of it coming out, so make sure you know that. So three packs, um, they're all gold, like full, fool's gold colour. You guarantee yourself one Prismic Secret Rare, two Ultras, two Super Rares, one Rare and 12 common cards. The Prismatic Secret Rare is the thing we want. We Hopefully we can get something great. Let's stop jibber jabbering. we got some Ultra Pro Sleeves. Let's have a lucky. And also, guys, make sure you check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. Cue the music. Let's have a look. I'm hoping we get something good here. We got Salman Great, Guardian Gracians, Dino Restless. I'm going to go through the commons really quick because we've already done these commons quite a lot. Because it's from the past series of 2020 from a lot of normal sets. So we have a super rare Unchained Soul of Desires, which is nice. We got Cynet Mining, super rare. An ultra rare. We got the Witcher of the Evil Eye. Now these are the cards I don't want. I don't want Evil Eyes because they don't really hold value at all. We got another Evil Eye. Come on, we don't want Evil Eyes. Come on, for goodness sakes. Evil Eye Awakening. Oh, nice. Unchained Abomination. Never seen that card before, that's nice. We do like that card. And of course we get ourselves our normal rare, which is a Link Male Archfiend. So pretty much for your um, Summon Skull deck, which is not bad. I'll put that to the side here. We got a Spirit as well, Evil Eye, a Cruiser Run, Chamber of the Enchanted, Tyrant Farm, and the Burning Shell, okay. Let's go ahead and sleeve these bad boys up. Now that's the thing, with Lost Memories Mega Packs in 2020, Evil Eye, for some reason, when it first got released, everybody was hyping it up like hell. And then after about at least a month, at least, a, at most a month I mean, from a month to about two weeks of it getting released, it got slated by everyone. Everyone started saying it's no good, it's useless, it's a piece of crap, don't buy them. So, yeah, Evil Eye cards got a massive uh, drop in price in a lot of uh, places on the internet and even shops in the United Kingdom and in America. Dino Wrestler, another Dino Wrestler, the Marine Test Sea Star, Fusion of Fire, Guardian, Speed Bus Dragon, nice. Another Evil Eye, Evil Eye. Test Panther, um, I'll take that. Yes! We got Strength, of, Strength in Unity. Now this is one of the cards that is exclusively to this set. I'm happy to have this. This is awesome. Very happy. And then we have ourselves the With Crafting Scamita. That's nice. Oh, ho, 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 Destiny Hero! Let's go, I'm happy with that. Destiny Hero Dominions. I'll take that. I love my Destiny Heroes. I really do. I'll take that. And we have ourselves a Spirit Sculptula. Okay. That's nice. Dragon Shovel. Nobel Dragon. Monk of the Tenure, which is cool. 
a Uncharted Twin, Evil Eye, Gladius Beast. Okay. So I'll take them ultra rares, definitely, and that Seeker Rare. The Seeker Rare is an absolute beauty, I think. Don't have a clue how much it's worth, so hopefully it does hold some value. If it doesn't, never mind. At least I'm keeping it, because I do not own it. Now, like I said, people, a lot of people do ask me, saying, are these prices 100% legit? Pokemon and also Yu-Gi-Oh! have different values every single day so they always change by the day so don't blame me if you're saying hey Dobsy I sold my Charizard um, V Max for $230 you said it was worth $500 it was worth that much at that time don't blame me if it's worth less or more in a few years time because cards nowadays go up or even down in value every single card is different so it's just a heads up for what is out there okay just be warned don't think that collecting cards is a massive investment in everything because sometimes they do go down very quickly so just be careful we have a super rare uh, beat raptor gladiator rejection and get out get out of here ultra rare and we have ourselves Earth Slicer, not why you want it for an Ultra. Oh, Trickster! Coro Bane! Okay! I'll take that Seeker Rare, definitely. That is a very beautiful card. And I think it's got a bit of value, which I do not mind. And also, I don't own it, so I'm very happy. We have Final Light as a Rare, that's good. And then for our normal commons, Berserk of the Tenure, which is great as well. That's the thing with this um, Megatin as well. I don't like the Dino Wrestlers and I don't like the Evil Eyes. But I do like the um, the um, Star, the um, Trick Star cards. Trick Star cards are one of my favourites to play. If I was able to go into tournaments again. Because as you guys know, with the pandemic, we can't do anything like that just yet. But probably in the near future, I'll probably come out of retirement for once. And play a few games. But for the time being, I'm staying inside. And looking after my family. Like you guys should be doing as well. So protect everybody, okay? Love your family, love your friends. Keep them protected. But anyhow, before we say goodbye, people, let's have a look at what we pulled today. We have ourselves Final Light, Spirit Sculpture, Link Mail, Archfiend. There are there are no more rares for super rares. I think the best super rare I think was the Test Panther, but I may be completely wrong. For Ultra Rares, I think the most expensive Ultra Rare, I think, is between the Get Out card or the Strength in Uni Unity, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Evil Eye. Another Evil Eye. And then our Secret Rares. I think that's the most expensive Secret Rare that I pulled today. Maybe I might be wrong. It could be one of these two, but I'm not 100% sure. But, hell of it, I am very happy with what I pulled. I don't think I pulled any duplicates, so I'm very, very, very happy with that. If you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell icon to get yourself another camera uploading live stream. And also, please check out Card Empire, the place to be in Manchester, Stockport, and Liverpool. With that being said, the People Army salute goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Not bad, not bad at all. Let's keep this look going with the next lot. Bring it on! One well, that people like using it for grass. We got a reverse foil, uh, Sterny. Bruh. Oh my god! Secret Red Next Ball! Oh my goodness! I thought that was the Ultra Ball for a second, but it ain't. It's the Nest Ball. Oh, baby, wait a minute. One for the. Uh, did I do. Oh! Oh! Oh!